Okay, so okay, got a few bits and pieces here. This is a three and a half horsepower, brings in straight an engine. Now, this applies for Tecumseh, Honda, all those engines. Most two strokes too operate under the exact same principle. First thing that will cause a no spark situation is a fouled spark plug like um, this one here. This one's very gummed up and it's got crap everywhere, carbonized. So make sure you have a um, spark plug that's nice and clean. As far as correctly gap goes, as long as it's got a decent gap about, I'd say, a millimetre gap or something similar to that. Um, you know, as long as it's not too extreme, not too too small, you'll be right. Um, so the next likely problem is either your boot, another thing that sometimes in the boot, spark plug boot, that um, the piece of rod is not connected to the wire itself very well, so you don't get very good spark either through that. Another problem is your kill wire here, which is normally connected to a bracket um, the same as this which sits across the head like that has a little switch on it as you can see there that's the bra copper contact now what happens is when this float when this throttle governor comes along you see it contacts that splay of metal there and grounds the magneto so if this system has a lot of crap all over it dirt and wet moist crap um, it'll ground out there and also ground out on the connections display connector under there and it can also ground out if this wire gets cut by the shroud or something so make sure all that's good now the next problem is on points and condenser um, ignition systems your points or your condenser will be fucked in that case I'd really recommend instead of having to um, undo the flywheel what you can do Hang on, fuck, I better just fix this leaking roof. Alright, so I'm back. I just said, I just measured something as well. So, remember these numbers. 3,000 by 250 and 210 by 420. Alright, so anyway. Um, uh, before I fix my leaky roof, which was leaking into my light and going to kill me. Um, I was saying about Briggs and Stratton points and condensers I believe so yes points and condensers rather than cracking open the flywheel one way you can check whether it's your points and condenser is you disconnect the cable at the back of this magneto here and your kill switch and if it then has spark it won't run because it doesn't have timing but if it then has spark then um, it's your points and condenser now very often your points and condenser is just dirty but getting to that requires taking this whole flywheel off and for the novice that can be a bit of an operation um, because if you you can what you can do is undo that bolt and tap the flywheel up this way but you risk the um, you got the risk of smashing the flywheel to pieces or causing metal fatigue and then it'll split to pieces and fly over and kill you so I wouldn't recommend doing that well, all I do is I have an air chisel that you put on the end there go bzzz, and the flywheel pops straight out so, but I wouldn't recommend that either because you need to know how to do it otherwise you'll destroy your crankshaft so really there's no very nice ways of getting them off so you go to your mail shop you either spend 25, 30, I think even 40 on getting this little kit here which includes a plastic thing with a coil inside which is your new um, electronic ignition module which straps on the side of this coil that's one of, that's one um, fix the other one is to just go and buy a coil that's completely second hand that's got the complete module which I'd recommend because it's just as cheap and just as effective and lasts just as long anyway because you're reusing your old coil in the first place so a new coil is going to be no worse so once you're sure that it's nothing outside the coil what you can do is you can check your space between the flywheel and the um, coil post here so make sure that gap that with a business card if you don't know how to gap things you undo these two bolts here um, turn the magnet so they face the coil and stick a business card between the coil and the flywheel 
so the coil will be sucked under the flywheel, you do up the bolts, remove the business card and your flywheel is gapped. So if that still doesn't work, then you can try your grounding points which are between this post here and this post, the aluminium post on the engine, you can clean them up, make sure there's no crap between them, but you really, um, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as that goes. So if it's still not working, it's most likely your windings are shorted out either to earth or to themselves or there's not enough continuity or maybe your magnets can be weak sometimes but you can generally test that with either a screwdriver or something if it sucks it in really hard um, chances are it's pretty good it's like that one it holds it pretty well it'll hold a spark plug upside down that sort of thing so just check like that if not do what I said before, buy a new um, second hand coil with electronic ignition already in it no matter what your engine was the only difference between them is bolt sizes um, some of the bigger engines like this one's a 5 horsepower later series quattro, quantrum, whatever they call them and looking at that you can see those bolt holes are located further into the coil whereas those ones are on the very very outer edge so that's the only difference. You can crack the coil open and take the winding out, crack the poles open, take the winding out um, and put a new winding between your old poles but I wouldn't recommend that. Just spend the 20 bucks and get the right coil from the mower shop. That's a second hand coil. So yeah, that's a bit of a video explaining. Um, very quick video because I don't have much time left on my camera and I'm freezing my fucking nuts off and I'm getting electrocuted by lights that are drippy water everywhere so that's not very good those measurements there from when I've got all a new roofing iron out there I'm going to extend this shed and see if I can extend it further that way so I have a bit of a bigger area and concrete the floor and put a proper wall in and pop belly and have a nice area stop the roof leaking and electrocuting me and rusting all my poor bloody tools which I need to take into the other garage so anyway yeah, points to clean your points once you get to your points um, you can clean them you'll need a feeler gauge to re-gap them so um, that's a pretty easy process you just undo a screw and when your points are in the open position you put the corresponding size feeler gauge between them and swivel the points assembly until the points are putting very very light pressure on the feeler gauge and nothing too much because otherwise your timing will be out another and then you obviously do it all back up and it should be right I'll show you what points look like if I have time um, another thing is your flywheel key can be sheared now to replace that you need to take your flywheel off and um, replace the it's a very simple job once you got your flywheel off but as I said that's a bit of a harder job for some people um, it's not that hard but it's you know it, you got the risk of breaking it another uh, symptom of that would be if your timing's out and you can identify that by your exhaust maybe popping so you um, it's firing too late and you got flames popping out the exhaust or back up the inlet manifold um, that's because your keys sheared um, and that's basically that's caused by when you got a bar blade on your mower often people hit big lumps of concrete or find some I don't know pipe that they forgot they had there hit it um, stop the mower very fast it stops the blade but the inertia in the flywheel the stored energy wants to continue spinning so the flywheel does continue spinning that eighth of an inch and shear the key off so yeah that's not good now your point system this here is a point system as you can what happens is when this here is pushed you can see those points open so to adjust them you get your spider webs out of the way and there's a screw down there now whether you can see that and you would undo that screw and you swivel the points back and forth with a feeler gauge in between there so you get it where the points are in an open position and it should read the right specifications another thing is your condenser there they go bad and you sometimes get no spark depending on how bad they do go 
So anyway, I'm running over time now, so I'll see you later.